what is up guys welcome to the 20th episode of this playthrough let's hop on into this i'm excited to be doing another playthrough episode uh yeah so uh shout out to a couple of the commenters i'm thinking i might make this this has been going through my head i might eh. And we'll see. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it yet. We'll we'll talk about it eventually. Um, let me go to my recent comments and see what you guys had to say. I already did read through them, but I always I, I usually read through them again during uh, during this because I forget things really easily because I don't remember all that much and I'm quite forgetful. So I usually go through stuff twice. One of the things I did want to say was I. Uh, I might be testing out a few new thumbnails. Check out my Discord. I'll be posting them in there. I want your opinion on them. Um, I paid four different people on Fiverr, where you pay $5 for something, Fiverr, uh, to make me thumbnails. So we're going to see what they uh, what they did. And if we like them, we're going to use them. If we don't, we're not. I need your opinion, though, because my opinion only means so much. Uh, your opinion is a lot more important than mine. Because you guys are the ones watching my content, so go look at the uh, go look at the Discord and let me know what you think. I'll be uploading four different or five different. Well, I have my current one, and then I have three different other ones. So four or five different ones. Where is the? They stole the computer again. Oh, wait. Can I call? Cancel. Change freelance. Check. No. Okay. All right, well, they stole the computer again, so I'm going to make another computer. I I really can't believe this. How many times can you steal the computer before it's like, oh, like, let's stop doing that. What are you missing? A community garden. A sink. Someone stole the sink here, too? They stole both sinks. Is sink a priority to steal? Dude. It's like a bad joke. Resume and stole the sink here as well. All right. Um, okay. I want to go through these comments quickly. Do. Thank you everyone so much for supporting the series, by the way. As you guys can probably tell very quickly, this is my most successful series in a while. Um, I've had a few other series I've done well. One of the series, uh, Fallout 76 actually did really well. Odd enough, um, I didn't end up doing well till long after I posted it. So I stopped uploading to it and then I checked it again and it was doing crazy well. I was like, oh, well, I guess I should have kept that going. But I stopped. Um, a few other series have done well. Among the Trees, I think Episode 1 did pretty well. Nah, nothing that notable, but... Alright, I didn't find anything I need. Don't you dare steal that computer! I need it! Please. I'm gonna chat with them, and then let's just send this gift. Just send them five or whatever you need to send them. I don't know. Get these out, and then we will uh, go from there. All right, completed one gig. Now we got to go do another gig. So this is pretty much all we're doing today. I know this is boring. It might be. Maybe, hey, maybe you guys enjoy the commentary. Maybe you enjoy hanging out with me and me making a fool of myself. I don't know. I would find this relatively boring, me repeating myself over and over again. I have to complete three, no, five different uh, missions for this. I hate eating natural food. IRL and in the game because, A, it makes you, like, sick. It's a pomegranate. Okay, just go home. Just, just go home. Just go home. I think YouTube's I think YouTube's down. All right, you guys are not gonna get your names read today because my YouTube studio is uh is not doing the not doing well. Looks like neither was it yesterday, honestly. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna shower quickly and go to sleep, and we can eat in the morning. You guys ever do that? You know, you don't want to make yourself food, or maybe there's no food in your house, so you eat, sleep. I do that all the time. Like I'm like, oh, I'm really hungry. Let me take a nap. That'll solve it. And then I nap and then I feel much better because I didn't want to make myself food. Um, I'm not sure if that's the ultimate form of lazy or the ultimate form of genius. Not sure. It's one of the two, though. Either it's extremely lazy or just plain out genius. Um, I'd like to lean towards genius, to be honest with you. But uh, who am I? Oh, who am I? All right, let's go grab a, uh, a meal quickly. You sleep through the hunger. 
Like if I was ever on like Naked and Afraid, I'm not sure if you guys ever watch a show. I think I just do the sleeps, you know? You know. Every once in a while, you see a person who does that where they just sleep most of the time. They're like, "Yeah, this body, this body fat can handle that." I'm like, oh, that's a that's a good idea. Eat the soybean. Do it. I don't care. Just eat it, man. Just eat. I love how he eats everything. They eat everything like an apple. He's now going to be like sickly though, because some reason once you eat fresh vegetables, you just don't feel well after. Okay. Uh, let me go grab another job here. We have to do five. So maybe I should just do the cheap one. Eh? Like, eh. Dude, should I do cheap ones? Probably not. Like, let's do this one. It's, it's a bunch of lamps. It looks like fabricate three lamps. Like, please. I will happily fabricate you th three of the Lamparinos. Come on down. I also need to take care of these plants, which I haven't done yet. Cool. All right. Shout out to Kurto, Adriana, Melissa, M.A., Mindy, and Crystal. All for the lovely comments on my last video. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are the best. The best. Keep going. No longer green. Water shop day is now in effect. No. Meh. Water shut off day. Shut off my water. Why don't you, government? When you're done, go. No. Sell that. Oh. You gotta go repair that. Um, well. Sell the tree. No, 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 don't sell all. I speak lies. I just meant sell the tree. Harvest the rest. Harvest all. Yeah. Then, like, do... I don't know. What do other people do? Like, weed or something? What? Do you, oh, these need water? A little bit of water. I feel like Spongebob in, in uh, Sandy Cheek's house, you know? Water. Really need that. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool. Did you water all of them? Now you're talking to them. Okay, we're gonna stop you. As soon as you start talking to the plants, we're gonna kind of veto you away from those plants. It gets me a little nervous. A little nervous once you start discussing life decisions with your plants. Uh, can't say I've, I've ever talked to my plants. Can't say I even own plants. But I have talked to inanimate objects before, you know? I, I swear I have full arguments with my car these days. Um, if I'm in my car and it's not doing well, I drive this uh, old school 2007 two-door Honda Accord. Watch out. 222,000 miles on it. <laughs> and uh, me and that Accord, we go back and forth all day. Hey, dude, you're doing well. You're doing well, man. Keep it going. Keep trucking along. You got this. I got to give it positive positive uh, vibes. Otherwise, I know it'll shut down. That's what happens once you get an old car. Once you get an old car, if you don't give it a name, if you don't treat it like a child, it doesn't last long. It's like fact. It's it's a hundred percent factual that if you don't treat the car right, it dies. Watch. Get a car, really old car. All right. Tell me how long it lasts without a name. Then name it and tell me how long it lasts. The named one, a lot longer. I guarantee it. I I went through a lot of cars growing up. I had a uh, uh, ninety. My first car ever was a ninety. Four, a 95 geo prism now what's a geo prism you may ask no one knows because i think they went i think they went under in like 2000 but i have 94 geo prism her name was sasha i then had a uh, a white car ips after the company in king of queens i also had sasha was named after the scooter and scrubs uh the main guy rode a like little moped in its name was sasha what other car i had bonnie the Pontiac Bonneville. I don't even... I can't even tell you what year that thing was. In, in 90, 98. And I currently have my 2007 Honda Accord. 222,000 miles. And its name is uh, Blue Barracuda. Because it's blue. There you go. All the great cars of, of my life. I uh, I just drive beaters till they're, like, till they're done. You know? Once they're done, they're done. You just retire them. Um, I buy them on their last leg and kind of keep them for a few years. Like I think I, 
Actually, funny enough, is the blue Barracuda was my dad's car, then my older brother's car, now my car. I just got a hand-me-down car. And, uh, thing still, still works. Leather seats, heated seats. It was so funny, it was my, uh, it was my dad's midlife crisis. Like, out of anything he could do for his midlife crisis, he bought a two-door Honda Accord. Yeah, no, I like it. <laughs> it wasn't anything fancy or flashy. He got a two-door. He has four kids. He got a two-door. <laughs> Leather seats. Heated, of course. <laughs> uh, and it just got handed down, like, over generations. It got handed down to my oldest, and then he, he, uh, he got a new car, and then I got it. But <laughs> how does anything he could have got? Uh, love my dad. Midlife crisis was a two-door Honda Accord. You know, reliable, but also fashionable. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Also, I'm, I think I'm supposed to vote here. So, we have a few people who have given their opinions. Um, modern development... Rough housing encouraged. Uh, what's this? Uh, how do you focus? Fizz drinks. Dancing is a great way to get a good scholarship. I like modern development or free love. Juiced community. I guess we'll go to modern development. It looks like modern development got a few extra votes and the comic got the most upvotes. So let's let's go do the, uh, the board here. Uh, can we currently vote? No. Voting's closed, but we'll do modern development when it is open. Um... Modern development. Where the heck is modern development? I actually don't even know what that is. Is it? Did I miss it? I probably missed it. Modern development in port. <clears throat> Feeling down about the state of our... Okay. Vote in additional funding on development by putting in hard work and funding... Mainly funding. Together we can work. Okay. Don't be uh, increased. We're pushing to ensure we pay good to the upset. Okay. The port won't... Okay. So what? I'd be able to give it money? That'd actually be sick because I have 94,000 simoleons and... Can't spend them, excluding on things that I can buy, like seeds and wax and upgrade parts. So, I'm in. Modern development sounds very interesting, so I'm quite excited. Josh, what are you doing? Getting a thumbnail again, guys. I don't know what I'm going to use this thumbnail for or what the uh, what the name of this video is yet. Maybe just completing jobs or part-time work. I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go get another uh, another gig. I'll probably go with something gig related. Ooh, level eight. Let's grab that. Create a kid's bed. Oh, that's nice. Fabricated kid's bed. Nice. Level 8. Wow. You figured you'd be able to make a kid's bed when you can make a double bed, but I guess kid's, kid's bed is slightly harder. No, wait, don't ask me why it's slightly harder. It just is. Okay. We're no longer green. Hmm. Interesting. I only need two more levels and I'm done with this skill. And then we go off to college and find ourselves a nice college grill. A nice college girl. Ooh. Hopefully someone would like Gil. Oh no, man. Even if you don't like Gil, he's kind of rich. He's kind of wealthy. He's got a couple skills. He could, he could use a little exercise though. It looks like he... He gained a little bell since he started, you know? He came in, nothing wrong with a little bell, but he's gained a little belly. No, nothing wrong with it, but. Maybe we'll get him working out a little bit, you know? Going into college, you start hitting up the gym. Or maybe he goes into college, puts on the freshman 15. I don't know, who, who am I to judge? You do you, Gil. Nothing wrong with a little bit of dad bod. I guarantee you I'll have one in a few years as I get more and more lazy, so. I understand, I understand the the need of a dad bod every once in a while. You know? Like, the diet's always the ne following week. You know? Diet's not this week, it's next week. I think maybe Gil's feeling the same way. Diet's not this week, I think it's gonna be next week. Nothing wrong with that, man. 
All right, let's get some snacks in here. Snack. The black and white cookie. Nice. Nice Seinfeld reference. I'm just kidding. Well, not kidding. There's a Seinfeld episode where they talk about the black and white cookie. Any of you guys Seinfeld fans? Huge Seinfeld fan. Huge. Loved me some Seinfeld back in the day. It's been a little bit since I've watched it, but... Cool. All right. Uh, Naparinos in your betterinos. Take the slumbers. Looking like Bob Pancakes over here. I I never uh I I never understood why everyone loves Bob Pancakes so much. It's like there's this um like part of the Sims community is in love with Bob Can Pancakes. I never understood it. Nothing wrong with Bob Pancakes. I just don't understand the excessive love. If you guys have the reasoning behind it, please let me know cuz I have no idea. I uh I just always assumed he was kind of a goofy guy. Is it because he has to deal with Eliza? Is that her name? Eliza? Everyone hates her. I know that. Gardening five. Let's go, baby. Wait, have we checked if we could qualify for any other scholarships? Go check the scholarships again, my dude. Athletics. No, you are not doing. I did athletics, man. It just takes up way too much time. Like the one time I did athletics, I felt like I spent hours practicing, going to games and so forth. And it was like, it was good. And I think it even boosted, uh, what did it do? So if you did really well, it boosted your starting career in athletics, like by a lot. Like you started off at like a superstar or something. So you left college at like tier eight or nine of the athletics career. But I also found that I did not get to do anything I'd like to do in college, like party, like, I don't know, see friends. I don't know. Ooh, another one of my five or things just got finished. I'm excited to see it, man. I have to say, I love seeing what people do with my, uh, my thumbnails. And like what they do differently than I do. I just installed Photoshop. I know. Crazy stuff. I just installed Photoshop for the first time in ages. Oh. Wait, we have to win this. How many more missions do we have to do? Eh, come make a double bed. It's gonna take you. It's gonna take uh us a bit to get to ten anyway, so this won't this won't prevent us, I don't think. Right? This is just yeah, ten. Yeah. Five gigs. Um yeah, I just reinstalled Photoshop so I could try and start doing editing myself. I, I used to just use this free platform called Canva. I don't know if any of you guys have ever used Canva. It's awesome. I love it, especially for thumbnails and stuff. It's so simple. Okay, he's too uncomfortable to do this, but he won't be too uncomfortable to talk to people. So let's go do that. It's this free like website thing. It's all online. It's really good. And I use that, but some of the features I'm not a huge fan of. And now the uh, now I've been paying for Photoshop forever. I'm paying Photoshop every single month for like nine, nine dollars or something. And I never had it installed because my brother used to do all the Photoshop. Now I've been trying to do it and I have to like reteach myself it. Took a bunch of graphic design back in, uh, back in high school. So it's been a while since I've done, uh, since I've done the good old Photoshop. So I'm having fun doing it, but I have to be honest with you. I think my least favorite part of all this is the uploading and graphic design stuff. Like if I could just sit here every day and record and talk and talk and then respond to comments man i'd love that my favorite part of all this weird enough is my freaking comments man i love reading through comments i love responding to people i love interacting with people in that sense makes me feel like makes me feel good makes me feel good anyways uh talking about this game quickly we're gonna go accept another gig we're gonna try and get these five gigs done soon we are almost there we gotta just do a few more wow there's actually a, few, a bunch of level niners Bunch of niners. Uh, you could just do like a rug one, I guess. Like, oh, here's another one. Uh, back in the day, is that another kids? Yeah. Okay, do the kids one. That's nice. Yeah, I think my least favorite part of all this is uh, making thumbnails and like uploading. I don't enjoy the process of uh, doing tags and titles and descriptions and. Uh. One day, I would love to have an editor. That'd be really cool. I, I was like spitballing ideas with a bunch of my friends and some of them do YouTube as well. Obviously my twin brother who, if you want to see my friends as I make more friends and if you guys make content, feel free to get in touch. I'd love to be able to talk with you. And if we become pals um, on my channel, I have, I'm going to start listing off my friends there. Uh, and right now I just have Noah, my buddy Eclipse, who I play with regularly. Both of them I play with literally daily. Um, 
But I'd love to be able to interact with more people. One of the big goals I had a while ago, and I, I never got to do this, was I wanted to make a series where I was taught how to play Minecraft by a Minecraft YouTuber. And it never happened because I never found a Minecraft YouTuber that wanted to really t sit down and teach me how to play. I thought it'd be a really funny series. A, I love to talk, so I was like, oh, that'd be fun. And then B, I've never played Minecraft before. I played Minecraft Dungeons, but I've literally, believe it or not, guys, I've only played two, three hours of Minecraft ever. I want to do an entire Minecraft series where I just troll along, kind of have someone kind of teach me the ways of Minecraft, and we kind of goof around and have a good time, but... I'm still looking for someone to teach me that. So if you guys have a YouTuber, if you're friends with a YouTuber, a few few thousand subs who wants to teach me Minecraft, let your boy know. Let your boy know. Awesome. We made that kid's bed. That's done. We can go chat with them again. Let's just go make another bed. Like, there's no reason to go on my way to that right now when we can just craft up another bed. Are we almost out of resources, though? We're getting low on the uh, on the parts there. Marshall, uh, I am calling you to inform you that my great, great, great second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left you a vast fortune. Will you accept it? Very well. However, now that you've accepted, uh, I must inform you that you will get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms. Good luck. Congratulations on the next chapter in your life. Oh. All right, we ain't getting the money. Hopefully he doesn't sue me for the money, though. Well, if he does, I got 96000 If they're trying to take more than 96000 no one's ever going to make it. Anyways, guys, let me wrap this episode up. I know today I babbled a little bit more than most. This is becoming a little methodical, and it's just something I got to get done, and I'd like to do to complete this series is to get this fabrication skill up to 10 and complete this lifetime wish. I always like to do something in these series, as I've mentioned before, and my current goal is to complete this lifetime wish. So that's that's my big to do. Once we complete that, we will hop into a series of universities. It'll be a lot more fun because it's going to be a lot more engaging. We're going to be doing a lot more little things. It won't be so uh, it won't be so direct. It's going to be a lot more kind of wide wide angled lens here, where we're kind of looking at everything. We're interacting with people. We're making relationships. We're kind of dating. We're saying hello i'll probably even give him a little makeover he'll be looking like a snack going off into college you know shaking hands with the ladies going to sororities whatever you do in college i don't even freaking know i always commuted so i never got to experience college firsthand but no 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 whatever you're about to do don't do it harvest all please i was gonna tell you so thanks hmm. all right guys let me head off. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all, you guessed it, next episode. See you guys.